December 3rd. I want to start this off and uh, I'm going to read you guys a uh, parable out of Matthew's uh, 24. St. Matthew 24 starting off at 44. And then I'm going to go over to the judgment, okay? There's a few things that I want to share with you. If you look above my head, you'll see that angel blowing the trumpet, okay? And then if you notice at the end of the trumpet, there's a white horse with a small clock. And above that, a bathtub, which you have to be washed by the blood of Christ, okay? To be found without spot or blemish, okay? That's what that angel is above my head. This photo was taken in 1977 when I was 17. Now, it's been almost 40 years later. So if you add 40 to the 17, that would put it at 5777. Okay? I'll be 57 in May. But the Lord does things for his reasons. And the times, nobody knows what's going to happen when it happens. Only he knows. But I am here to spread a message. To tell everybody to prepare themselves. For the day of the Lord is at hand. <clears throat> okay, here we go. My name is Mark Hardy. I use my my name. Yeah, I don't go by any uh, other name. A lot of people use other names. I use my birth name. Okay, Matthews uh, 24, 44. Therefore ye be also ready, for in such an hour as ye... Think not the Son of Man cometh, whom then is faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, finds, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and he shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion of the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth, in other words, when you're called and you've been separated and you're doing what we're doing out here. Now, you notice I said what we're doing. There should be quite a few of us out here doing this. Now, it's easy to see I was definitely called because of that angel blowing that trumpet. Now, I didn't see this photo until 2014, mind you. Okay? I took it in 77 when I was 17, but I did not see it until 2014. That's when my sister sent it to me, and I was like in awe when I seen it. So I knew at that time that I was definitely called, okay, to do what I'm doing. There's no doubt in my mind about it, okay? But with with that, trust me, I've gotten mega, mega attacks by the uh, demonic side of all this. And uh, they literally, I used to have my own business. They, they wiped me out, took, literally wiped me out. They try to deceive you at first. What they do is they'll try to uh, tell you, you know, if you speak less about Jesus Christ, we'll build your business up. Well, the reason why my business was suffering was because of them. And then they try to get you to deny the name of our Lord. And everybody knows in the Word of God, it says, if you deny me, I'll deny you. So that's what they try to do. And... uh let me tell you something. Before all this happened, I used to go to and from my jobs all the time. And I've always had a love for the Lord in my heart, but I was never one to say anything to nobody about nothing. I just tried to do my best, try to do what the Lord says in the Bible all the time. And then when they, when I seen him being attacked in our nation, uh, saying he doesn't belong here, he doesn't belong there, taking him, removing him from the schools, government, from the Washington, the Ten Commandments, all that. When I seen all that happening, then they came up to me and told me to speak less about him. I said, that's not going to happen. It won't happen. There ain't nothing. You can't build my bed, nothing I want. 
here for that. And I had no idea at that time that this was about to be destroyed. Yeah, I had no idea. But I did know this for a fact. I, I wouldn't deny his name, you know. And, and it's in you. It's, it's literally going to be in you. I've heard of people being invited to go into Thanksgiving dinner, and they were asked not to mention his name, and they agreed to it. So you see, when you, when they, they're cunning, they're baffling, okay? You got to be careful. They'll try to deceive you in all kinds of ways. You know, they'll say, well, we got other friends that are atheists. They don't believe in, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know what? I only hang out with people that believe because if they don't want to hear what hear about my Lord, the good news of the Lord, then that's not going to happen, you know? Actually, they, they lit a fire underneath me. They got me started because... Uh, at that point, I started talking about Jesus like there's no end to it. And it's been that way ever since. My business is long gone. You know, I've been living out of my truck, camping out. You know, I lived in my shop for two years. And uh, been in my truck now for about 14 months. Um, you know, but like I said, uh He's opened my eyes to so many things to let me see what's going on. And the demonic attacks, stinking thinking, uh, all kinds of horrible stuff. We get attacked while we're sleeping. Dreams, perverted dreams. That's what the devil does. He comes at you when you're asleep. And, uh, you yeah, know, we just have to uh, resist. Resist these dreams. You wake up from them. You repent. It's called on the name of the Lord. Um, these demonic spirits are everywhere right now. This place is a den of them. It's filled with them here, man. And I long for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, to destroy all this stuff now. This place is so corrupted with it. And how people just don't seem to see it is beyond me. But let me let me uh, read this now. In St. Matthew's 25 to 31, okay? Um, well, let's go to the, uh, the 25... The parable of the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. In the midnight hour is a cry, and behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you, but go rather and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy... The bridegroom came. See, that's why I'm thinking this is going to happen during the holidays when people are all shopping and they're not looking for him to come. And they were and they were ready, went with him in the marriage, and the door was shut. After came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open up to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, and ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Now, let's go over to uh, it's the same chapter, but 31. The judgment. The sun. Now, what I want to say about this judgment here, if you notice this year, the NFL had their 50th Super Bowl. Now, if you look on each side of that 50, if you were going to divide something, there's 49 yards on each side of that 50, huh? 7 times 7 is what? It's 49. 49 is a jubilee year, okay? A smita. That's what the Jewish is, 49. See, the devil has always been running this, and it's always been a game to him, okay? Three strikes, you're out, right? In baseball, even. World War One, World War Two, World War Three. See, you guys have been playing his game from the beginning. The Lord's... Been, unveiled things to where we can see what's happening in this world. I've been warning people for several years, but nobody believes me. <laughs> I've had very few. I mean, I got some people that are watching and believing what I'm saying, and it's hard to understand it, especially I used to play football and baseball when I was a child. 
We grew up in it. And then you got scouts that are looking for our best talented children. Man, these people got demonic spirits in them. Of course they're looking for our most talented children because they want to get their minds wrapped up in the things that are of the world right away because their minds are very talented. They might get into seeing the truth. That way they want to get them, get them while they're young before they do see what's really happening. You see what I'm saying? And uh, when they were trying to get me to deny the Lord's name, uh, the Lord woke me up one night when I was living in my shop at 3.30 in the morning. And we went out there and broke up a drug deal. Clearwater Coast Guard got 200 pounds of cocaine from these guys. Okay? And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, my football coach... Now, this is our government at work, and I'm telling you, our government is very evil and corrupted, okay? I guarantee it. I know what I'm talking about. They are in our government, okay? I'll tell you in a minute why, and now I know, okay? They're all Illuminati members, all of them, and they've hijacked our uh, churches, too. Now, um... <coughs> Let me read this here, the judgment. The sun shall come in all his glory and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Okay, the 49 on each side of the 50. That's what they had this year, the 49 or the 50th Super Bowl. And uh, what do you got on each side of that is, see, they know what time it is. They know it's this year. They just don't know the day or the hour. Okay? The Father in Heaven knows everything. That's why it was all written in here. This book is the book of the future. Okay. Now, 33. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. Remember he said he was going away to prepare a place for us? For I was a hungered, and ye gave me meat, and I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink, and I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When you when when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when we saw thee sick, or in prison, or came into thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done unto one of these the least of my brethren, ye have done it unto me. And then the others, you know, that didn't, the worldly, you know, they're going to say, you know, Then he shall say unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed and everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, and a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, and sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you did it, did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. You see, <coughs> this is what's at hand, you guys. This is very true. And uh, it's all coming to an end now, okay? All over. It's all over. In five months, I'll be 57. This photo was taken in 77. 
Okay. Honestly, I don't think this nation's going to be around very much longer. I really don't. I'm more wondering when is the uh, the rapture, the coming for the uh, those that are waiting on the Lord. Because uh, I'm very, very tired. I'm tired of these attacks. I'm tired of everything. Um, and that's what the devil does. He attacks you. What I wanted to say was uh, the uh, the Illuminati. You know, you stop and think about it. They call themselves the Republicans and Democrats, okay? Stop and think about it. They're all members of uh, cults and stuff like that. They went into certain dorms in school where they all took certain oaths with one another. They're wealthy, you know, and their families made sure they went to the best of these colleges, went into the same uh, dorm rooms or whatever, you know what I mean? But uh, that's exactly what's happened here. And uh, it's time's come. It's over here. But uh, this is where everybody needs to be ready and uh, be focused. This is all coming to an end now. I hope and pray that you guys got something out of this message, okay? God bless each and every one of you.